What's up lovers? How are you doing today? Today I am making a video about how to unlock your inner game, you know? Because sometimes you guys go and talk to girl and you're just like stuck and you I don't know, you I don't know, you freeze or you don't really know what to say. So today I'm going to let you know what you need to do and it's easy. What you need to do to unlock and to develop your inner game. So then when you go and talk to girls it's easy because I'm telling you, everybody got gained. Everybody is just like something probably hidden, like deep, deep, deep inside of you and you haven't tapped into it. And that's why when you go and talk to girl, you're feeling crazy. And it doesn't matter if you're like, I don't know, ugly, cute, successful, uh, socially awkward, whatever you are, you can always be successful at it. If you think about it, your inner game is just like a combination of like your ambitions, your goals, uh, your confidence, and the way you see yourself so to simplify it's pretty much your overall confidence so you know we always say women love confidence and for you to have games pretty much you need to have confidence so let's be technical the definition of being confident is the ability to know or to feel that you are going to be able to accomplish whatever you want to accomplish whatever you put in your mind you're going to make it happen because you're that confident a lot of men think that being successful at like grabbing girls or picking up girls is like you go online you look at some pickup lines and then you're like oh okay i'm gonna use this one am i no this is not even needed and that's kind of like cheesy a little especially if the line you pick is kind of weird but hey it might work i'm not saying it's not gonna work there's other ways you can get girls instead of using those pickup lines put in your mind if you were a girl i mean let's not do that but let's say girls get approached like you know especially if she's pretty she gets approached pretty often but the level of confidence that those men have usually is not that high I can, I can tell you the guys that approach me they i don't know i don't know why because i think i'm cool and everybody can talk to me but they're a little shaky you know you can feel that um they're they're a little worried of what i'm thinking what i'm gonna do so it's a lot of those but the one that come and that has that confidence that show me that he doesn't care about me rejecting him about me thinking that is not good enough for me or whatever, even if that's not what goes through my mind. But in his mind, the fact that he's not thinking it just like sends me different signals. Because even if you think that you're hiding your um, whatever insecurities that you have or whatever question you're asking yourself, you're not. Like the girl can really sense it. We can sense it with like your body language, your voice tonality, uh, whatever move you make. Like it's a bunch of signals. Men with a strong inner, inner game the, the mentality is like, I'm a leader and I can pick whatever bitch I want. Like that's what they think. So that's what you need to start thinking. And those type of men really create their own reality. They're like, okay, I want this bitch. I'm going to go and get this bitch. And usually they'll, they'll be able to get it. And if they don't get it, get her. And if they don't get her, they don't care. They're like, okay, next, there is others. A lot of you guys are always like, well, only if you have money and cars and whatever and good looks, you're good. I mean, yes. I think that's a plus, but I don't think that's all that is because with me, money, cars, and I mean, I'll take the car, but money, cars, or whatever, or cuteness, or attractiveness, it's not enough. If your personality is trash, I don't want it. If I don't feel like you're confident, I don't want it either. But if you have the confidence, having the rest, yes, it's a bonus. All right, so here are three ways to improve your confidence and your inner game, okay? Number one, your mind. It all starts here, here. What I said earlier is that you guys, before approaching a girl, often you're like, uh, is she gonna like me? Uh, that she has a boyfriend? Is she gonna reject me? What is she gonna think if I say that? Like, yo, stop sending yourself and your brain some negative thoughts. That's what you're, you're sending, negative, negative, negative. And then all she's gonna feel, she's gonna feel that. As much as you think, She's not feeling it because you're not saying out loud and you think like you're hiding it. You're not hiding it. A woman is going to sense that you're nervous because she's going to feel nervous too. Like, it's like, I don't know. I read that somewhere. It's like whatever energy you have, I mean, they say energy is transferable. So whatever energy you have and whatever you send out, she's going to be able to pick up on it. And she's going to be like, um, he's nervous. I don't really want to be around him. Even if she doesn't think that you're nervous because of her, but just like the feeling you're gonna make her feel is not gonna be a good one and she's gonna be like, okay, I, I'm leaving. I don't wanna talk to him, whatever. What you need to start is using 
positive talks like while you're talking to her i mean i know it, it might be a little hard to think and talk to her at the same time but just like you gotta be positive you gotta be like i'm the shit i know what i bring if the bitch say no fuck her i mean you don't gotta say that but uh <laughs> you can just like you gotta relax and be confident in what you're bringing and who you are and that if she allows you to um to talk or whatever then she'll be able to see your personality. What a lot of guys do is like, they just self-analyze while they're talking and they're like, oh shit, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, look at her, oh shit, she's better than me. And I'm like, yo, fucking relax. And whatever you think is gonna reflect in your body. You're thinking something negative, watch, you're gonna start slouching. You're gonna like maybe become red a little bit or just start stuttering. It's a bunch of ways that she's gonna be able to pick up that you're not really comfortable and confident. You gotta believe that you can, that you can get the bitch, that you can get everybody that you want because the belief is really like the only thing that matters. You knowing that you can get her, you're gonna get her. And then you know, you guys, I mean, I've talked about the law of attraction before, but it's true. Think about something you want, you want, and you're gonna get it, you're gonna get it. Watch, you go there, you'll get it. All right, number two. What you can do is analyze your weaknesses. So a lot of men and people in general, not just men, but a lot of men um, don't want to, you know, sit down and figure out what's going on and where they're weak and where they're strong. You know, I mean, being weak somewhere is not really, you know, something that we want to acknowledge, but you got to acknowledge it so you can fix it. So if you think you suck at talking to girls, you got to figure out that you suck and then you go and improve it. All right, so for some guys, uh, you guys think that you're not attractive enough. Maybe you think you're ugly or whatever. Well, you can, you cannot fix your face. I, I mean, you can if you wanna go do some surgeries, but I'm sure that's not what we're doing. So what you do to fix that, to feel like, okay, my weaknesses is, or what makes me feel insecure is how I look. So what you can do is start working out, start having your shit together, Start combing your hair, start, uh, I don't know, uh, eat better, all that shit, because since you can change your face, you can change everything else. You can change your body, you can change your success, you can change your mentality, you can change a lot of things about yourself that is gonna make you actually feel more confident and be attractive. Because what you need to realize is that a lot of women I know, even if me, for example, I would prefer somebody that's attractive, but I would take personality over somebody that's attractive. And a lot of women will. Because, yeah, you're attractive, but you're selfish. You don't care for me. You, you know, you're not funny. Like, no, I don't want to be around you. You're always serious. You're not funny. Like, no, fuck that. You know, so that's what you need to put in your head. Women would go for personality. If it's personality or looks, and like the personality is great, but he's not so good looking, but he's okay. And a dude that has like, super like that is super attractive but the personality is trash only the trashy girl is gonna go for this dude the, a girl that's good and that, that's like enjoy herself and knows her value she's gonna go for that dude that was like maybe not so attractive but has like an awesome personality that's what you need to put in your head like when you feel unconfident and can you say that i hope when you don't feel so confident about your looks and then go improve everything else yes you can change your face but go improve everything else, your hair, uh, your beard, whatever you get going on, improve that. So that at the end of the day, you're still better looking overall than the dude that just has the looks. Because for example, I mean, I think I told you that guys before, but I was dating this dude. And when I met him, I was so not attracted to him because he wasn't good looking, you know? But then I hang around him and then the motherfucker was funny as fuck. And I was like, yo, I cannot wait to be around him again every time. And then I ended up dating him for like maybe six months because he ended up being crazy and I didn't see that. But he really wasn't like the type of dude I would go for like look wise because I didn't find him attractive, but his personality made him really attractive. So I'm telling you guys, you can bag whoever you want as long as you have personality and that you dress nice, you look nice, you look like you take care of yourself, you can get whoever. So for other guys, uh, your weakness might be, I don't know how to talk to girls. It's easy. Like this is the, the, the easiest one to, to fix. If you feel like you suck at talking to girls, go and talk to people, to strangers on a regular. Like maybe once a day, force yourself to go talk to somebody. 
like i don't care it, it doesn't have to be a girl actually or a girl that you're interested in you can talk to a girl that you have no interest for you can talk to a stranger like a co-worker that you've never talked to you can talk to people on the street you can talk to whoever but you gotta socialize more so then you create like um you know like you might be nervous when you start talking to people just because you don't know them i'm a little like that like if i don't really know you i'm kind of like on the quiet side or a little shy but the the more you're gonna talk the more you're gonna have this ability to just talk to whoever and the fact that you can talk to whoever when it's time to go talk to a bitch to a lady then it's easy for you to go talk to her i'm telling you it's just practicing on like your stress and on um, just your regular conversation because you don't have to go talk to a girl and like try to bag her right away you can just have a regular fucking ass conversation and it's gonna work you just gotta be able to do it and the last one is uh, for some guys you guys just your weakness is a lack of self-confidence so what you need to do to like be able to fix that that's the most uh, important problem to fix if you don't feel confident it's not gonna work so what you do is like you fucking sit down and you think about okay what am i not so sure about what am i insecure about and you got to destroy those fucking insecurities and the thing how you can destroy them is that when you sit down you're going to realize that most of your insecurities are like false belief it's something that somebody projected onto you and you kept you you were like oh yeah damn most of the time those shits are not even real it's like it's just because somebody put it in your mind and you were like oh yeah but no it's false it's just like a seed that was planted in your head and that wasn't even true and you let that shit grow and it became your reality. For example, if you're skinny and you feel insecure about it, just go to the fucking gym like, and start lifting weight. Again, being skinny, you don't have to be insecure because you're skinny. A lot of guys, they're super cool and they're fine with being skinny, you know? So it's just like maybe the society or people shamed you for being that skinny so now you're like, oh my God, but your being skinny is not a problem. You know, it's just, you gotta realize like, yo, why do I feel like this? And if it's something that you still can get over it, even by just thinking about it, just be like, okay, I'm gonna go change it then. Or if your insecurity is because this society tells you if you're poor or broke, well, then that's a problem. Okay, so if that's really what you feel and like it's in your mind and you can't go make some fucking money. I'm not saying making money is easy, but if that's your insecurity, because a lot of people don't realize that the fact that they are broke make them feel insecure like they because they, they, they want to nobody wants to be like yeah i'm insecure because i'm broke you know so first of all you gotta realize what makes you insecure and then once you realize what makes you insecure then you go and fix it if you really feel like being poor is bad then go get some money find a way to make money get another job i don't care it's like a lot of people have a lot of excuses on why they can't make money but there's jobs and i don't want to seem uh uh insensitive oh can you say this yes insensitive but it's like yo there is ways to make money you just gotta figure out what's the way for you like sit down think plan figure it out another tip that i can give you is that most of the time when you get rejected it's not because of you and you gotta learn from your mistakes i'm not saying don't learn because maybe you say some weird shit and then the girl was turned off but a lot of women will reject you based on them it's it's in them like for example let's say a girl used to be a little chunky you know and then she was able to to lose the weight and now you know she's skinny so when you approach her maybe you have like a round face she's gonna be like no i'm good you didn't even talk she's gonna be like no i'm good and you know what what that could be the reason can just be like you having a round face reminds her of when she was uh chunky so when she was chunky, maybe she, she got shamed, maybe she got bullied, or maybe she just didn't like it, you know? So now when she sees somebody maybe chunky or round face, she's like, no, I'm good, I'm good. And she rejected you, you didn't even open your mouth, it doesn't even mean you're not attractive. But in her brain, the round face reminded her of her being chunky, and she doesn't want that. that that's not a good feeling for her, so she's like, no, I'm good. So yeah, don't start thinking she rejected you for X, Y, Z and it's your fault and this and that. It's not. Most of the time, those girls are going to reject you because they have something in them. It's in them. And if you start putting that in your mind, well, you're not going to care when a girl rejects you because you're like, it's not me, it's her. Yes, put it on her because we don't care. Put it on the fucking bitch that don't want to give you the time of the day. It's on her. It's not on you. Because you cannot start losing confidence because bitches are turning you down. Like... <laughs> 
can you imagine losing confidence over something that is somebody else like to me that sounds crazy how am i gonna be not confident because somebody turned me down but they didn't turn me down because i did something crazy or i my i don't know or i was crazy but it's them they have something inside them and now i lose my confidence that doesn't make any sense and number three is exposure you gotta be around bitches a lot i'm sorry you know you guys say practice makes perfect that's one of those like you gotta be around a girl a lot and uh what you can do is like so you can kind of like see some type of motivation just make it a game like make it fun uh for example you tell yourself okay i need to talk to a girl a week you should do a girl a day but let's say a girl a week and even if you're not really interested in her go talk to her and if you are interested in her just like reward yourself like okay i'm gonna go talk to a girl a week and I, when i do it uh i reward myself with something good like i don't know you like cake i don't know maybe i'm saying some dumb shit but you like cake so you're like okay today i need to talk to a bitch so then when i go home i can enjoy this cake you know you gotta reward yourself so it makes it fun and makes it less stressful again you gotta be light-hearted like this shit is not that hard like even if the bitch says no who fucking cares but yeah you gotta practice you gotta be around bitches and you gotta um, make sure you sharpen your game you know and that's that's really how it's gonna grow how your inner game is gonna grow is how much you're gonna be around bitches and be able to practice so that's it i hope this was helpful so those were three techniques to um to be able to like fucking develop your inner game and just be like confident and be the man and when you approach bitches it's like i don't care i'm gonna get her like it's no issue like something like it's a walk in a park it's nothing crazy that you're doing you're just gonna go talk and you'll bag her that's the mentality you need to have when approaching girls like confidence is the biggest thing so you don't need to go learn and uh, let me have some sentences and this and that no just socialize have good uh, confidence and realize your weaknesses and fix those weaknesses fix those um insecurities so then when you come up you're like just like i'm the shit that's all i hope this video helped you i know it was a little different format than usual but hopefully that was helpful if you like this video you can like it share and uh write me a little comment yeah why not and then you can also follow me on instagram at medilovexo and at Monaco. i will talk to you tomorrow lovers.